Oh, let's get it going, chat. Let's get it going. It's going to be a very weird season here with your Toronto Maple Leafs. Our Toronto Maple Leafs? Crash Andrews. What's up, handsome? It is a 48-team franchise mode because, of course, it is. And we will hopefully find ourselves in the playoffs, unlike last year, where we were absolutely terrible. The team, now that we have all the uh, coaching stuff set up and everything, the team is as follows. Dylan Genther, Jacques Hughes, and Josh Anderson. Beautiful. Uh, William Eklund with Marco Casper and Matthew Savoy. Dominic Bach. Connor Geeky's amazing hair. Jesus. And Tyler Boucher. And you got Jan Mizak, Brad Lambert. See, yeah, I need back. Can't wait to see the AI's lines. Oh, I'm not looking at the lines again. Fuck that. We'll look in a couple of years. We're not looking after one year. Screw that. Edvinson and Drysdale. Merkley and Korchinski. Gooley. And Brant Clark. The goalies. I mean, at least, at least Ottinger can actually save stuff. I don't know if Philip Grubauer will be able to stop anything, but I, I hope. One can only hope. The AHL, we have KHL legend Nigel Dawes. And that's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. You should have been the Quebec team. Eh, I was thinking about it, but I'm like, I've never used Toronto for anything, so now's a good time. Let's finally do it. Let's look at it. Let's do it. The Colorado Avalanche. Uh, Knucklehead, from season one at least. Uh, all right, that's enough of the Avalanche. Um, from season one at least, the numbers weren't all that drastically affected. It still pretty much played out like you would expect it to play out in terms of point totals and stuff like that. All right, again, we play our division opponents and Eastern Conference opponents only. No Western road trips in this reality. We will see how the Maple Leafs do. And if we're terrible, that's okay. Show me your abs emote when, right? <laughs> yeah, we play Montreal every Wednesday. It's great. Uh, we sit down. We have Putin. Oh, good. Uh, deep top you. of the hour. Top of the hour. Got the majesty for the follow, by the way. Hey, look at us. We're waking up. Good things are a happening. I mean, it's it's close to an all Canadian division. Can't wait to ban kids. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun time. I was tempted to hop back into practice mode and uh, do what we did yesterday, but I don't know what you did for your time. But I gotta show some. I gotta show some love to franchise, even if it's in a little bit of a rough spot right now. You know, Jack Eyes, your new favorite player. Well, yeah, he's the Brad Marchand of the Montreal Canadiens, just far less talented. Let you do that for an hour. There you go. That's the way to do it. You just sat on the menu and gave out. I mean, that's the way to do it. 15, 12, and 2. He is knucklehead. That's all he does. I've been shot. <laughs> you will be again. Something during your block that don't infuriate the kids. I mean, no. Do something during your block. No. I will not. Hey, look at Dylan Genther. Coyote's legend. He's crushing it. Jacques Hughes is crushing it. Josh Anderson's okay. God, Eklund. I, it's funny. I got like all the top prospects from uh, Mabudski's favorite teams. Crash, I have no reason to do that anymore. The campaign is over and it was very, very successful. So, we're good. We're good. All right. Fourth line is. Uh, Fourth line's leaving a bit to be desired. Just a bit. That second pair has been tragic. We'll go Gooley, Merkley, Korchinski, Clark. Promote Manscaped, though. Well, no, because they have to pay me for extra promotion, dog. That's how that works. All right. We'll keep that fourth line together. We'll keep that fourth line together for now. 
But we do have some veterans. Ah, maybe we don't. Honestly, it's a pretty bad line. Nebeck, Lamba. Oh my god, the frickin' switch of the buttons to get the roster moves. Goodness gracious. Lamba. Uh, let's call up Carl Soderberg. Cal Clutterbuck, Blake Como. Get some veteran leadership. On the fourth line, Knucklehead, we do not. I am uh, what is referred to on the internet now as basically solely a hydro homie. All right. Fourth line is together. It's beautiful. Let's go best lines in the AHL, and somehow that doesn't include the power play lines. Thank you. Please tell me a roster or anything. I'm not. I'm not. As funny as it would be, none of the work, none of the work would be saved because I'm waiting for their first roster update. So, no more command anymore. No more command anymore. All right, through December. I have no idea where the hell this team's going to be by the end of this, and that's okay. That is okay. Reds, because it's done. Jesus. Kings beat the Wild 7 to 6. They did. They did. I, uh, I tuned into that game once the um, once the Mariners Astros game was over, and I'm like, "What the hell happened here? Did they play without goalies?" Cody, why? We already know it doesn't work. I need good ideas here, guys. <laughs> not giving very good, not giving very good ones. Sorry, truth hurts. Oh God, are we anywhere near the ploffs? Eastern Conference. Hawks, I said good ideas. All right. Again, top eight make the playoffs. We are currently 14th. Oof. <laughs> Arcade for an hour, right? I will be on franchise mode. Thank you. It's already been decided. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Back to the Lions here. What do we got? All right, the top line is starting to struggle defensively, and I am solely going to blame... Okay, everyone's struggling. Everyone. Everyone. Be, uh, be struggling at the moment. Would it be possible to do a Tortorella mode when I was a bad plus one? I mean, obviously, yeah. It would just be... I mean... Determine, you know, you have to decide what parameters you wanted to put. All right, I'm cool with that fourth line being bad. We need to figure something out here, though. I don't know what that's going to be. Let's do something like that. Get Matt Savoy into his proper position. Which means Cal Clutterbuck. It's getting bumped up, baby. We're going to play Matt Savoy with two goons. Super uh, Super League Draft Glory Goon Squad. 3.0. <laughs> Just combine all of my ideas into one. That is the answer. Wow, Corchin. Merkley has been terrible. Jesus. It's a bit of a tough call to know what the hell to do here with this team. I think we just have to let the boys struggle. We got to let the boys struggle. Let them grow a little bit. Best hair in hockey. Ryan Getzlaff. Never forget. Never forget. The best hair in hockey. How long would a, Mil a Millberry Draft of Glory take to be good? It would never be good. That's an oxymoron. Millberry mode Draft of Glory. No such thing. Because we tried it before, if I'm not mistaken, and all that happened was our top prospects were consistently flipped. For nothing overly good. 
or just future draft picks. So it just kept going in this never ending cycle of drafting players, trading them, drafting players, trading them. It's just how it worked. All right. We are not UDFA, unfortunately, doesn't work. It's not like Madden where a UDFA franchise is overly possible, you know? Granted, it's not the start of a season right now, but, like, I mean, like, there is this guy who the Kraken just let go of for no reason. Like, there's a bunch of medium nines. All these dudes were drafted and just weren't signed by their teams. Boy, that's frustrating. Knucklehead, it was good to see you, buddy. Take it easy. I like that. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, I'm not saying that the persons or peoples behind these rosters are biased. I would never. I would never. But. Yanni Neiman. Second round pick of the Kraken in 2022. Medium top nine. Okay. As a second round pick, I'd make him a high nine to make him more usable, but fine. Jake Chase on. Fourth round pick. Medium top nine in 2021. All right. That's a fair potential for a fourth round pick. Connor Lockhart. Sixth rounder of the Canucks in 2021. Still the medium top nine. Hmm. I wonder... I wonder, hold on now, let's see, fifth round pick, medium top nine, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. How many other sixth round picks? There you got William Von Barnacow, who's also got one. I'm memeing, Lockhart was a projected third round pick, and that's fine. But I knew I could get a Canucks fan to be like, um, but actually, and I did, so there we go, mission accomplished. I'm intrigued to see the comments on YouTube, by the way, in a couple of days when this goes up. So, there we go. I can't, uh, I can't fish for rumbles anymore, but I can fish for overly eager Canadian fans to, um, actually me. Never fails. Never fails. Oh, God, I love it here. I love what I do. We have fun here. We have fun here. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. They're going to beautiful. We're not going to make the playoffs, which is also beautiful because we'll get a higher draft pick, and that is okay. Goodness, goodness. <sighs> it's true, numbers. It's true. All right, 38, 32, 28, and 5. We're getting better. We're getting better. We might actually be able to pull this off. We might be able to pull this off. We're fourth in the Northeast, which doesn't mean anything. It's all about conference. Season ends today. Oof. Oof. We are, uh, we are eight points out of the playoffs right now. We are eight points out. It's the top eight in the conference that make it in this reality. And we are not going to make it at the moment. Damn. Damn. What's the West looking like? God damn San Antonio. 48, 18, and 5. Not bad. Not bad. It's a pretty close race in that division, though. Damn. West is uh West is a deeper conference at this stage than the East happens to be. We have the trade deadline tomorrow. I don't really think there's anyone we're going to want to try to get rid of except for Josh Anderson, who does have 46 points this year, but if we can get something of value for Josh Anderson, we should. So honestly, let's just leave the team as it is. We're not going to add to this team at the deadline. That would be the dumbest thing uh, we could possibly do. But let's list ourselves as sellers and go to the trade deadline. Austin Matthews. 
number one pick in the fantasy draft by the Canucks over Connor McDavid is currently on the block. I am not going to be able to afford him, but he is out there. The problem is he, he probably wants to leave Vancouver. But this is a little fantasy scenario, so I'm not worried about, like, oh, only going through the trade block, or, oh, if he doesn't want to resign, we're not bringing him back. Like, no, we, we could have fun here, so long as Anaheim didn't just trade him. All right, Ryan Suter's off to the Portland Tree Choppers. Go Choppers. The Choppers. Um, I mean, we do have a shitload of prospects. We do. We do. Ooh, Sebastian Casa. Sebastian Koss is pretty much NHL ready. I need to get rid of Grubauer. So, defensively... God, I don't think I have the value to pull this off. I don't think I have the value oh, to pull this off. I really don't. I'm going to go with Kaplan. Thank you for the follow. Ivor, you're not wrong. I mean, I would take Jack Hughes, but the thing is, I'd want Jack Hughes and Austin Matthews on the same team. So that would open up space to get rid of, like, Matt Savoy or Marco Casper. Could leave Marco Casper as a third-line center. He's already second-line center worthy, though. And Savoy is already a third-line center at a 78 for some reason. So, figure that one out. As it is, we have too many goddamn centers. Really starting to notice that. So we got Eklund. We got Savoy. I don't think we could pull this off, but it would involve three of these centers. We could keep Eklund on the wing. Keep oh, Eklund on the wing. Got the Daft Mule. You. My favorite French house band, Daft Mule. Casper is going to be gross, though. So what if we get rid of Savoy? We get rid of Geeky. We get rid of Savoy. Wow, that is hardly noticeable. That you've selected somebody there. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Uh, but Savoy, Geeky, as the two primary options. So we'll keep playing Eklund on the wing. Go with Atu Ratu as well. Then dip into draft pick territory. How close is this? Oh, how much more would we have to add? How much more would we have to add? What if we add this dude that we just drafted? Lindstein. So it's Savoy, Geeky, Ratu, Lindstein in the first for Austin Matthews? I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this off. I might just have to hope that Matthews is a free agent for us to actually be able to bring him in. Seems like the best way to go. Ryan Merkley, Caden Gooley. Yeah. I don't think we could pull it off. Just double checking our players here. I don't think we can pull this off, so... We'll hold off on going after uh, going after Austin Matthews. But what we can do is try to find a suitor for Philip Grubauer. The Grubauer. Let's see. Anything for Grubauer? Nope. Nobody wants him. Go figure. Go figure. Uh, defensively, Merkley, you have been tragic, my friend. What could I get for you? A second and a third, Zach LaRue. Brennan Othman in a sixth. Two second round picks from the totally not Golden State Warriors. Is there anything that's going to be worth it? a bunch of medium top sixes. Got the calling. That's how it's spelled, so that's how I'm saying it. Hey, for the primer. The Nylander. Welcome aboard. Oh, good for you. We might as well keep Merkley at this rate. A second rounder's not going to do much for us. I don't think we're going to have much to give away here. I was hoping that we would. 
But it's not, uh, it's not looking too good. It's not looking too good. I mean, now would be a good time to get rid of Merkley because he's not going to get that much better. Same with Korshak, but they're just not worth anything. And then Josh Anderson has no value whatsoever either. Uh, Niebeck might hit NHL level, so we can hold on to him. Even Dominic Bach, who's not amazing. Oh, good he's kind for of you. The bill there. Hell of a name. Thank you for the follow there, too. I think we're good. I thought we might actually have a few things to trade away here. We don't. We really don't. So we will just see this out. I highly doubt Austin gets traded. But let's see if there are any blockbusters that come out. I doubt it. I doubt it, I doubt it. Yeah, nothing. It didn't mention a damn thing. Oh, good! But we did beat you. Ottawa. Got the cookie crumbler of the week as well. We did beat the Ottawa Senators, which is the most important thing. 